Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to tonight's RTC TV4 coverage as the cast and comments host the Valley Vikings. I'm Blair Zimmerman, joined on the other headset once again by Aubrey Daig. Aubrey, welcome this evening. Yes, it's good to be back, Blair. All right, we've got some starting lineups uh, for Valley. Uh, number one, Braden Shepard. Number four, a Braden Stump. Number five, DJ a step. Number 12, I only have a first name, it's Nolan. And number 24, Paul Leisure. For the cast and comments. Number four, Cade Zider. Number five, Sam Smith. I did remind him it's basketball season, not football season. <laughs> Number 10, Bryce Rudisel. Number 21, Jake Passion. And senior, number 22, Jesse Rock Wolf. Well, I was looking at uh, the John Harrell predictions. Um, John Harrell getting stuff updated so quick because it was just a few days ago uh, that cast and picked up uh, Valley uh, where Delphi was supposed to be playing tonight. Um, John Harrell's already got it statted and predicted. They are predicting a two-point Comets victory. Uh, of course, anytime John Harrell is predicting a close game, you know that we're in for edge of your seat action. Yes, yes. Uh, so. Do we normally play... Do we normally play them in a regular season? I don't believe we do. I was going to say, I don't think we've ever really played them before. At least I don't remember going to a game where we faced um, Valley. No, as a matter of fact, I didn't even have a lower third for this before the night. So there's the tip. Sam Smith getting it for the Comets. Into the hands of Jesse Rock Wolf. Comes across, trying to set up an offense. Quick zone shift here by the Vikings. Passion to Rudisol on the right. Rudisol back to Passion. Going to go to Zyder. Zyder for three. Oh, Ooh, so mark. close. Rebound Passion with that Passion. rebound. Uh, um, Rudisol with that three attempt. And Valley getting that rebound. Got Shepard kicking it back. It's in the paint. On the outside over to number four, Stump. Stump to Shepard. Shepard around the top of the key over to number 24, Leisure. Leisure to Shepard. Back to Leisure. Goes over to the left side to Stump. Valley's looked to go inside a couple times there. And we get inside, double coverage. And out of bounds off of Valley. Great defense played there by the Comets. Just over a minute gone. Score still tied up at nothing. And uh, we've got Shepard up to put some pressure on Rudisol. Rudisol makes it across the timeline. Over to Zyder. Smith on the right. Back up to Rudisol. Zyder, Zyder for three. And it's, and it's good. good. Kate Zyder drawing first blood here tonight. Down underneath from the post, no good. Comets rebound. Oh, nice. Nice step through there by Jake Passion. Shepard up at the top of the key, looking for a pass, sends it over to Stump. 
Dumped to Leisure. Over to Shepard. Shepard drives inside, gets trapped. Dish, clear across. Nice movement by the defense. There we go. There's a steal there for Rudisol. Rudisol goes coast to coast, goes up with it. Oh. Ah, can't quite complete. Foul there on number 10, Bryce Rudisol. His first, team first, and that dubious honor of game first. Ball into stump. Comets have a, some pressure. Four guys, actually, on the other side of the half court line. Jumper from the paint, off the mark. Comets getting that rebound. Passion back to Rudisol. Over to Zyder. Zyder looking for that shot. It was a smart play to not go for the shot. And that goes out of bounds off of Zyder as uh, Valley gets involved with that pass. 32, Nice in for the Vikings. <coughs> uh, they step into Stump. Stump to Shepard. Thinks about taking that shot from the elbow. Passes it back to Stump. Shepard for three. A little long. Put back by Miller, no good. Comet's getting that rebound. Passion for three. Oh, just a touch too far. Pull up jumper. Off the rim and we have a foul. Um, 32 possibly. Yes, foul on number 32, Dylan Neese, his first. Team first. Shepard putting a little pressure on Rudisol. Ball goes back to Rock Wolf. Rock Wolf with the crossover inside the arc, back out, up to Zyder. Back to Passion on the left. Passion about loses his feet. Smith. Looks like a couple of slick spots there. Smith shot off the mark. Valley with that rebound. And a charge. Rockwolf is so good at planting and taking that charge. Foul there on number four, Brayton Stump. That's his first, team second. Nearly the whole Viking team. Valley down. pulling up all of their defense, putting on a man to man press. Rockwolf trying to pull another charge. How was that saved? Ooh, wow. Wow. Okay. We have a Fantastic steal, here. steal and go. lay in by Rudisol. Valley looks caught flat-footed, Aubrey. I don't think they were ready for this Comets team here tonight no, so far in the first. I don't think they were either, uh, especially from just watching. They, I guess, are slower than what I kind of expected. They don't look for as many shots as the Shepherd Comets for two. have. Braid and Shepard finally breaking that scoring drought that the Vikings have had. Passion on the left, drives inside. I mm, think he got away with the travel there. Yeah, and well, he kind of lost the ball a little bit too, so they might have just considered him out of control. Shepard looking for the play, 247 left here in the first. Ball over to Nolan. Shepard on the left side, up top to Stump, Stump. Getting inside and out of bounds. Mm. Oh, they're going to call that off of Rockwolf. Number two, Landon Walters in for the Vikings. Stump looking for the inbound. Gets it into a uh, step. Up top to Shepard.
Shepard goes down towards the post. Hard dish over to the opposite corner. Three-pointer by uh, Stump is off Ooh, the mark. Oh, that was a great spin move. Oh. oh. Rockwolf gets the rebound. There we go. Three-pointer. Three Bryce Rudisol. But can we talk about Zyder's spin move? That was crazy. That was beautiful. Ah. Jake Passion picking up a foul down there. That's team second. But did they still give the points? Yes. Okay. Points on the board. Stump across midcourt. Tight double coverage there. Say that's going baseline. There we wow, go. Wow, that we go. steal though. Pugh sends it across to Rudisol. Goes down to the post to Smith. Ooh. I saw his target of where he was aiming for, but the defender just got in the way. And a foul there on Sam Smith. His first, team third. 80 seconds left here in the first quarter. Stump across midcourt. Ball over to Shepard. Goes to the right corner. Shepard goes baseline. The ball goes up the stump at the top of the key. Out to Shepard. Shepard for a long three. three. Off the mark. And wow, Rudisol grabbing that rebound was crazy. Ooh. Beautiful, beautiful. And Smith completing that. Comets now with double digit lead. Stump across midcourt. Just goes straight into the paint with it. Spins, back out. Three pointer off the mark there for Nolan. Comets getting that rebound. 20 seconds. Rudisol to Zyder. Zyder over on the left, or right. I still don't know my right from my left, Aubrey. Oh, it happens. <laughs> Sam Smith, top of the key, passes to Pugh. Rudisol to Zyder. Rockwolf into the paint. I don't know how he didn't get a foul there, but he did miss the shot. All right, at the end of one, Casting Comets 12, Valley Vikings 2. What a fantastic first quarter of basketball. Comets shooting about a total of 50% uh, here tonight combined. As I say, the Comets have definitely come out and with like full fledged, like oh, yeah. going hard. Yeah, this is yeah, just incredible. Uh, Comets first quarter, two for five from outside. Looks like three for six inside the arc. Didn't Nobody visited the free throw line. So, uh, I mean, you know, we had five fouls on the floor in the first, but no shooting fouls. Really a fairly clean quarter of exciting mm -hmm. basketball. Uh, I just think that Valley wasn't quite knowing what to expect. The same with the comments, though, because we discussed we've never played this game. And so, you know, usually when you play a team over the years, you can understand certain players and you've seen them enough times. But, you know, this was a clean slate for both teams. They didn't really know what to expect going into it other than from watching film. Right. Well, it, we did play Valley last, or no, we last played Valley. Excuse me. I saw December 30th. I'm like, okay, we played them last year. No, it's been four years ago. Okay. Yeah, see, never in my <laughs> entire. And over, <laughs> over the last 35 years, Valley has won this matchup 13 times to three. Wow. So, uh, but again, if it's been four years, this is completely different teams, completely different coaches. And ball out off of Smith. Lee 
feeds your back end for the oh. Vikings. Smith almost with that steal. Ball into Stump. Stump to Leisure. Leisure to Nolan. Over to Shepard on the right. And that actually is the right this time. Back to Stump. Stump for three, and it's good. That was a long three. Rudisil just outrunning the defense. Wow. Over to Rockwolf on the right. Cross court to Pew. Pew for three. three. Looks and good. It's good. Drained that. Stump across midcourt over to Shepard. Shepard's going to kick it up to Leisure. Leisure passes it to Nolan on the right. Nolan picks it up for a jumper. Off the mark, Comets with that rebound. Rock Wolf. Looked like he thought about going into the paint. It looked with like it. he almost thought about dribbling or even shooting it. Rock Wolf, top of the key. Back over to Zyder. Zyder, Zyder for, for three. pressure three, a little off the mark. And thrown out of bounds at the other end. Just a high, kind of out of control pass there. Mm -hmm. Number zero, Cooper Walls in for the Vikings. Also number 10, Dominic Welk. Carter C coming in for the Comets. I think uh, Vikings coach Patrick trying to find a combination to put on the floor that's going to mm -hmm. have an answer for these comments. Rudisil across midcourt. Rudisil is handling the pressure very well, honestly. C yeah. over to Zyder. Top of the key to Rudisil. Rudisil drives in, dishes it back out to Zyder. Zyder with an open three, and it's good. It's good. best three-point attempts are always when he has enough time to set yep. up. It's when he is trying to get it off quick. That oh, is Russell not nearly stealing that again. On par. Yeah, his pressure threes are, are questionable. His, yeah. his open threes, no questions. Zyder Pew. Pew's over in the left corner. Top of the key to Zyder. Over to Smith at the post. Smith draws there a foul and drops the shot. And one. Fouls on number five, DJ Estep. His first, team third. Number 12, Nolan back in for the Vikings. Smith at the line for plus one. Sam Smith good. getting three the hard way. Shepard bringing the ball across midcourt. Sends it over to Welk. Welk to Walls. Back to Shepard on the left. Outside the arc. There we go. There we go with the steal and... Oh, oh wow. Oh, okay. So I say that was. I say he rolled with the ball out of bounds. <laughs> so a lot of Comet fans were not about to be happy <laughs> with that call. Number four, Brayden Stump back in for the Vikings. Ball into Rudisil. Rudisil quickly across the timeline. Over to Zyder. Zyder to C. C fakes that three, sends it down to the post. Smith oh, drawing another foul. That. He'll go to the line for two. Foul again on number five, DJ is step. First shot, just a little shy. Number 32, Nice in for the Vikings, and number 21, Jake Passion back in for the Comets. Smith making second one count. And 
Coach Patrick calling a full timeout. Kind of glad I'm not down in that huddle right now. Yeah. Tom. Just from listening, Coach is not happy <laughs> by their playing at all. Uh, you know, he's been yelling out plays. He's been making motions that I've noticed anyway. And uh, some of the times it kind of looks like they don't really know what they're doing or what play they're trying to set up. Um, and that's nothing against them that happens sometimes. But uh, well, it is I a bet he has a lot to talk about right now. It is a relatively young team-ish. Uh, no freshman on the varsity line, but only one senior. Uh, that's number 22, Chase Miller, who hasn't had a lot of contact with the ball. So uh, a lot of sophomores and juniors. Um, so, it, it, you know, it, it's just I'm obviously not sure what's going on. That's not our school and our athletes. Uh, Coach Patrick is in his fourth year at Valley, so one would think they've had some time to, to mesh, but uh, it's hard Thomas to coming out, though, with a press. Nolan the paint Ooh. sends it down to number 10. Dominic Welk puts it in for two. Wide open. Passion open for a three, can't quite make a drop. Valley with that rebound. Stump into the paint, sends it back out to Nolan. Nolan over to Walls. Walls down to the post, back outside. Fairly open. Three. Fairly open, it's Lot. no good. Oh, that was gonna be a long rebound. Ball over to Nolan, Nolan into the paint, sends it back out. Stump into the paint, puts it up, no good. And was working on his own rebound. Foul on number 23, Carter C. His first, team four. Zyder and Rockwolf back in for the Comets. And Denise, he puts it in for two. That's the second almost wide open layup they've gotten in the last two minutes. Yeah, the Comets have to be careful to not take this advantage that they have mm -hmm. for granted. Once again, we were talking the other day, uh, long leads in basketball can evaporate really quickly. Yes. Rock Wolf, um. with that fade away as he's falling out of bounds, it was no good. Out to Nolan, Nolan. In across the free throw line. Walls back to Nolan. Over to Stump. Stump into the top of the key. Walls in back out to Stump. Uh, and Pew works on picking his pocket. Couldn't quite keep control of that. Rudisold back in for the Comets. And Braden Shepard back in for the Vikings. Nolan to the backcourt to stump. Stump around the left side of the arc. Calls for a screen. Inside, back outside to Nolan. Over to Shepard on the right. Oh, yeah. Okay, and there we go. Travel there. Tight pressure being put in on the inbound. And Coach Davis will call a 30 second timeout. Right as the ball went in, too, so it wasn't just a saving measure. As I say, I think they're just trying to work on a better way to get it in, probably, just because it didn't look like they had something actually set up. 
right. to be able to get the ball in. They were kind of just running around until someone got open. And, and the pressure is increasing. Oh, uh, most stuff. It went from one to two to now a, a full court, full court man, man to man. man. Yeah. So. Um, and they've made a couple of free throw or not free throws, layups, and then. You know, right. we kind of let off our defense a little bit, letting those open up. So they're going to bring the pressure as we get a little bit more tired, and it can come into a more even playing field. Yeah. See, there, there's the Zider. play. Zider picking it up. Over to Russell. <laughs> Russell getting tripped. Cool. Are they going to call this a foul or a travel? foul. He's calling a foul. The ref on our side was going to call it a travel, yeah, I yes think. Yes, he was. Foul there on number one, Braden Shepard, his first, team five. Coach Patrick not happy about that call. Uh, well, that's because probably because one ref was like, all right, it's going to be a travel. And the other one's like, no, 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 no. Oh, 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 oh. That was a bad inbound. Whoa. Oh, my God. What goodness. a mess. How is that not a foul? There we go. Oh, my gosh. Foul on number zero. Ooh, I don't like the we're over here in the valley section, Aubrey. I, know, I, I feel unsafe. No, I do not know why they think that was going to be a jump ball. You are not allowed to grab onto his arms and start yanking the ball away. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. No, it's a. Wow. <laughs> Zyder under oh. pressure. Three pointer, no good. Passion with the putback. And yeah, a there it is. Wow. Let's go. Oh, my goodness. Edge of your seat basketball. Two minutes to play in the half. There's a three by Walls. And they will have a foul on Sam Smith. The whole rest of the world watching what happens with that three in Smith. Smith over there getting his foul. His yeah, second. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's minutes. like, oh no, is it going to fall at that? Where? <laughs> Ball into Shepard. 150 in the half. Shepard into the paint, dishes it over to the outside. Pass oh, attempt to the post, almost, almost picked off. Uh, and that's going to be a foul. foul on Rock Wolf. His first. Team six. We're going to send Nolan to the line for two. First shot good. Second shot good as well. Comets looking to get the ball in on this full court press. Rudisol in tight coverage by Shepard. Gets across midcourt. Oh, oh and gets off. the ball stripped by Nolan, who puts it in for two. Wow. And they're calling a foul on 32. Yep. Dylan Neese, his second, team seven. Rock Wolf at the line for one and one. First shot just a little long. Valley with that rebound. Shepard outside to Nolan. Oh, almost and there. There we go. Carter C with the recovery. I don't really know. Consider it a rebound. Rock Wolf goes over to the uh, right. There we go. Underneath Carter the C. C. Ooh. Shepard nearly traveling with that. Just started dribbling as he drug that toe. Into the paint, That's puts it in for two.
Rock Wolf versus Nice. Cross midcourt. Over to Passion. Passion, top of the key, in and out. Looking for help. Over to Rock Wolf. Zyder to C, back to Passion. Passion to Rudisil. Over to the right side to Zyder. 14 seconds left in the half. Rudisil at the volleyball line, back to Zyder. Back to the volleyball line to Rock Wolf. Three seconds to play. Zyder with a snap Ooh. three off the mark. And that will end the half. Wow, what a fantastic half of basketball, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we're going to step away for a few words from our sponsors. We'll come back with some first half stats. You're watching Comets and Vikings basketball here on Caston TV on RTC TV4. All right, as that halftime clock winds down, Comets will start the second half with possession. Rockwolf into Rudisil to start the second half. Back to Rockwolf. Over to Passion. Going for Rock that Wolf drive. into the paint. And calling a jump ball. Oh, okay. Well, possession arrow takes it to Valley. Stump over to Nolan, up to the top to Walls, back to Stump on the left. Walls up the volleyball line over to Nolan on the right. Shepard from just behind the free throw line and it's good. Rockwolf just, I thought he was going coast to coast. I thought he was gonna go in for the layup. Ooh, looking for help. Over to Smith, goes out of bounds off of uh, a step. I'm kind of surprised they called it out of bounds on Valley. That was a really close. Passion, back to Rockwolf, down to the post, outside to Passion. I thought he was going up for three. Ooh. Oh, and uh, He should have just taken that. He should have taken the shot outside. Yeah, I kind of thought that's where he was going to take the shot, especially because he's proven that he can do that. Well, he is 0 for 2 this game from outside. Confidence might be a little shaken. Mm. Hard saying. That happens. Nolan for 2, off the mark. Rebound swatted out by the Comets. Ball, top of the key to Nolan. Over to E-step. Stump, top of the key to Shepard. Shepard to Nolan. Vikings keeping that ball moving around, looking for a shot, looking for an opportunity. Baseline. Down to Nolan right at the post. Not looking like a good start for the comments. Yeah. Zyder in off. trouble. Ooh, picked off. And for three. <laughs> and Coach Davis going to call a timeout. Talk to the yes. guys about this. Yeah, that is definitely not the start that the no. comments were looking for. Valley bringing this within a four point game now in just over two minutes. 
they, I mean, they came back with the same yeah. intensity like they never stepped off the court, Blair. Uh, you know? Yeah. And well, the comments kind of came out of the locker room. They've had a 7 nothing scoring run yeah. here in, j in two minutes. Yeah. Um, but, you know, like we said already, a lead means nothing, especially because the way I think about it, okay, they scored 26 points in the first half. Well, so can they. Right. They can easily do that, too, if we did it. Um, you know, don't count anybody out. Wow. So much pressure yeah. on this inbound. Comets are going to have to set up a play and, and get through this man-to-man -man press. There we go. Sam Smith getting open across midcourt. Passion for three, and it's, it's good. good. There we go. Walls to Nolan. Nolan to, uh, into the paint. Back out to Walls. Walls for, for three. three. And oh, wow. Getting that perfect bounce. Smith to the post, back to Rudisil. Rockwolf sends it down to Smith at the post. And it's good. Walls to Nolan, up at the volleyball line. Over to Shepard, on the right. Back up to the center ring to Stump. Nolan, he's going to drive in towards the post. Puts it in with under double coverage. No one on help side there. There we go. Smith for two. The comment, they cannot keep trading points, though. Yeah. So far, that's all it's been is they score three, we score two, they score two, we score two. Nolan to Walls. Walls over to Stump. Stump to Walls at the top of the key. Half the third gone now. Baseline pass attempt swatted out of bounds by Sam Smith. Actually swatted into the stratosphere, but you know. Almost at a cheerleader. That would have hurt. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, getting smacked in the dome with the basketball from the blind side is not ever pleasant. No, not particularly. Stump looking for the inbound. Threads the needle into East Step, who puts it in for two. Long inbound pass. Smith uh, oh. goes to the post and misses the layup. They're calling it out of bounds off Sam Smith. Wow. Better than a foul. I well, kind of thought that's, that's what they were going to call. That's accurate. Stump across midcourt over to Nolan. I'm wondering why the Comets haven't started putting pressure on that inbound. That lead's getting soaked up. We're I mean, back to a four-point game. But they've made just so many easy layups. I mean, going right down the middle, straight to the basket with no help side. Stump around the top of the key. Over to Shepard, who goes baseline, dishes it across. And shot by Walters is too long. Commons with that rebound. Passion, Passion for three. For the three. Ooh. Little short. Just off. And nobody underneath to soak up that rebound. Stump for that three. Taking that, what, 11 point lead down, down to, to one. one. Ah. 
I'm not sure what Coach Patrick said during halftime, but it obviously worked. Yeah, I would say so. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he told them they were all walking back to school if they didn't pull this out. That would be a long walk. Um, that would definitely get me in gear. <laughs> I don't think coaches are allowed to do that anymore. I don't know they were ever allowed to do it, but I've heard some stories. Oh, I've heard a lot of things of what coaches said they used to do. All right, coach swatted, or coach, no, ball swatted out by Shepard. Transitioning back to players. <coughs> Hey, I've seen some players get angry at the opposing coaches. I, I wouldn't, wouldn't entirely surprise me to see one take a swat at a coach. Ball into Smith. Sets a nice screen for Zyder to nice get across. Screen. Up to Rock Wolf at the center ring. Ooh. Ah, I think that was a foul. I heard the slap with bit, my headset. A little bit, yeah, headset. I definitely did hear the slap. Zyder for three. Oh, oh, in and out, and nobody down there for the rebound. I say, there's no rebounding down below. That's where we got most of our points, too, Yeah, was it was put those putbacks. Did we forget what putback means? Now a one-point game. Stump, in and out. Over to Nolan at the volleyball line. Shepard on the left. Into the paint to Nolan. Mm. And there is the lead for the Vikings. Their first lead Ooh. of the game. How did that stay inbounds? Pew for three. It's out of bounds on the backboard. Wow. What a turnaround. You got to give it to this Viking team here in the third quarter. They've worked for it. They came back and they came to play. Um, we have not played the second half so far the way we did the first. Not at all. Shepard back at the center ring. Gonna send it over to Nolan on the right. Nolan showing himself to be quite the threat. Down to that left post. Fade away. And right there. Right there. Wow. I mean, I think he is four for five or four for four here in the second half. Smith cross midcourt over to Pew. Zyder for three. three. In and out again. Smith getting that rebound that time, though. They need to find a play that will get Zyder enough time to set up and not have to force that shot. Smith there we go. Smith in for two. <laughs> Still not enough to get the lead back, though. Mm -mm. Or even tie the game. Comets really need to put some good defense on down here. 26 seconds left here in the third. Down to the post. Back outside to Nolan. Up to Stump, over to Walls. Walls is a three-point three. shooter. Why'd we leave oh. him open? He's already proven himself many times with that three-point shot. Oh, Pew in trouble. Over to Rudisil. And that'll be a foul on number one. Foul on Shepard, his second. That's the first foul of the half? Wow. I mean, the Vikings, they've played clean basketball. They just have intensity. Absolutely. Ball into Rudisil. Rudisil going baseline, goes up with it, and draws, draws the, the foul. foul. Foul's going to be on number 12, Nolan, his first, team second. 12 or 32? I'm sure it's 12. No, good call. 32. I nice. say they call it a push. That'll be his third. I thought it. I thought uh, number 12 kind of went up and over with that block. It looked like mm -hmm. he hit hands. Shot's good. Jake Passion back in for the Comets. And we don't have a number 11 for the Vikings. Second shot, good. 
But number 11 just won the game. Oh, there we go. Up with it. Oh. Could have taken a few more dribbles. <laughs> and after three, Valley 39, Comets 37. What a turnaround for Valley there in that third quarter. Definitely uh, not the turnaround we were hoping for. <laughs> but, no. you know, it's we got to give it to them. Um, they came oh, out with absolutely. intensity. They they scored 24 points. That's, they nearly, that's a lot. They nearly tied the Comets' first half score in that quarter. Yeah. Uh, Comets putting 11 on the board, which, I mean, 11 on the board is a pretty good quarter. But when the opposing team scores 24, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, there is the problem. Yeah. You, you <laughs> scoring 2-1 to one in the third. That was, that's not what we want to see here for the fourth. I mean, hopefully the Comets can come back out with the intensity they had before, with, you know, the shooting percentage, um, and be able to handle the Vikings' defense. They've just brought up such a hard press that it's made us very, it made us, it's forced us to pass quickly instead of smart. Yeah. Or we have a lot of people picking up the dribble and getting in trouble. Yes. Walls all over Zyder. Zyder to Rock Wolf. Rock Wolf to Rudisol. Rudisol into the paint. Outside. Dishes it outside to Zyder for three. It's, it's good. good. Nolan to Walls up the volleyball line. Over the Stumps on the right. Stump, <laughs> just one, not two. Walls on the left. Dishes it down towards the post. Back out to Stump. Stump up the Walls. And hopefully the comments remember they cannot leave Walls open. Nolan. Picks up the jumper. There, there was there was nothing Zyder could even do about that. No. He straight jumped right over him. Yep. Ball in deep to Smith. Smith just needs to learn how to pull up a three-point shot. I mean, yeah. number five's falling back and letting him go. Smith there we go. On the post. Still can't keep trading punches like this because no. then it's just whoever's up at the end. Yeah, you're very really? right. Okay, that was one of those super obvious commentator comments, but I, I think everybody knows what I mean. That it's just luck of the yeah. draw who got the last punch. Because obviously whoever's up at the end wins. wins I mean. Yes. All right, Nolan there at the volleyball line. Over to Walls. Stump on the right. Oh, he got in a little trouble there because Walls was, he was going to pass it to Walls who mm -hmm. was busy cutting in. They're definitely looking for a good shot and not a quick shot. Yeah. Passion nearly forcing a turnover there. Over to Step. No one's going to go in Taking with it. it in. And it drops for him. I don't think Nolan has missed say, a shot Nolan this half. Is, oh. oh, what was that? Actually, but it was. He's still got it. Well, yeah, there we go. In. Sam Smith fighting number, through that one. Number 12, Nolan. What a play there for Sam. That was, yeah, half and two. So that was, that was. That pass was so low percentage. It, it would have looked say, great, I except it went off know. a defender, mm -hmm. and, and Sam Smith absolutely scraped that from the bottom of the yes. barrel. He there we go. He made a bad pass look good. Uh, yeah. He made and the most out of what he was given. And that is honestly something like I want to give to him is he doesn't yeah. stop going hard. You know what? He might be in foul trouble, but that's the game. He goes for it no matter what. Right. If he well, has to go through someone, you know, that's too bad sometimes. <laughs> yep. 
No, uh, he's actually he's sitting on two fouls right now, playing a really clean game. And yeah, Sam Smith is just a raw athlete. Yes, he really is. And he's proven that, especially tonight for the comments. Into the paint, outside to Stump. Stump faking it, and. Oh, oh, there we go. Comments what finally a clean getting that block rebound. There. Over to Pew on the right, down, down to, to the Sam post. Smith and, and powering he, through, pulling that foul. He'll go to the line for two. I think foul's on number five. Yes. Foul on number five, DJ is step. It's his third, team four. First shot just a little hard. And with the game this close, every one of these free throws count. Yes. Second shot's go. good. Uh, especially when it gets down to seconds left in the game. You know, right now, the comments are up by three points. That's a three-pointer, and it's overtime. You gotta put finish. back by Rock Gotta Wolf. finish, boys. When we're giving those layups, you have to finish. I oh, mean, yeah. Valley's proven that they can, and they have several times now. Um, but we got two or three attempts just then. Yeah. But that's still better than what we saw last quarter. Last quarter, we were giving those uh, rebounds very away. True. There we go. And another, another snag. Steal. Rudisil with some ups. And jump off. Arrow will go to the Vikings. Both sides not entirely happy about that. Uh, no. Valley, Valley yet looking for a travel on that. Comets fans looking for a foul. Vikings are going to take a full time out here and see if they can't uh, re-catch the Recatch the energy they had there in the third. Not gonna lie, Blair, that just felt like one of the longest timeouts ever. It really did. Uh, I mean, I was just sitting here like, wow, this seems to be taking forever. <laughs> but it's, I don't one of those, it's one of those new 90 second timeouts. Uh, yeah, I was like, this is taking a while. Uh, but I think it's probably just the intensity. I'm ready for the game to be over. I just wanna see who right. wins. We, we, there, this is so action packed that we're so adrenaline pumped that we're experiencing time dilation. Yeah, and then it's just like nothing. It's stillness. And I'm like, what is supposed to be happening? Every fan here tonight will have PTSD tomorrow <laughs> from the intensity here tonight. Stump across midcourt. Inside the arc, double coverage. Up to Shepard, bad pass, and oh, manages almost, to save almost. it from that over and back. Nolan to the bucket, and it's good giving for two. Nolan that. I don't know that you can call that giving it. He is just going down and working hard, but he hasn't missed one of those this half. I was going to say, it was a wide open lane. I mean, you can only do so much. Out of bounds there off passion. One point game, 315 to play. We're going to have fans asking for a refund because they paid for a whole seat and they've only needed the edge of it for this game. <laughs> oh Shepard to Walls. Walls up to Nolan. Nearly losing that. Over Shepard. Oh, 
almost stomp. having that. Oh, that should have been a foul. He really pushed off of Zyder there. He's Ooh. still pushing Zyder. Oh, but they call a foul there. Okay, okay. Foul on 21, Jake Passion. That'll be his second, team third. Or, excuse me, team first. I was looking at the timeouts. It's I, crazy how that is our first foul. In the half. For this half. Up to the top. Passion, you got to get up on walls. I don't think he'll shoot it clear out there. He's a good three-point shooter, but that's oh. that's real far. Shepard going baseline, getting picked. Ooh, don't pick it up, don't pick it up. There we go. Stump not happy about that call. No, not at all. That'll be Stump second. Team five. Ooh. Ball him to Passion. Over to Rudisol. Passion was not expecting that pass. No, back to Passion. Rock Wolf in the corner. Ooh, well, gonna you, be picked you, off. You can't, and yeah. that's gonna be a foul there on Rudisol. I was to say, I knew that was gonna get picked off as soon as he passed it. That's Rudisol's second, team second. 2.14 left to play. And that was kind of just point. an unfortunate foul yeah, that, that he had to pick up. I mean, he was going for the pass, and they just kind of collided. Ball over to Stump. Stump to Nolan. Nolan to Shepard. Shepard for three. three. Oh, and it was good. good. His first three-pointer of the game. Of course. <laughs> Gives Valley a two-point advantage. 148 to play. Oh. Bad pass. Stump over on the left side of the arc. Passes to Shepard. Shepard down deep left. Top of the key to Walls. Rockwolf out to meet him. Over to Stump. Pash keeping pressure on. Over to Nolan. Nolan's going to go baseline, and, and Sam Smith, Smith picking up that foul. Setting that moving screen. Here's the thing. With the way that Nolan's been taking that lane, and they're not in bonus yet, I think that was a smart foul. Yes, uh, very much so, especially because you knew if he was going to continue driving, yeah, that, it was, that was probably two on the board. going to be a uh, made layup. Nolan in back out to Stump. Stump goes inside, picks it up. Down baseline to Walls. There we go, there we go. Zyder picking off that pass. Oh, but they ref saying no shot. Oh. We needed that too. Foul on Stump. Wish it was like football where you could decline the penalty. Yeah, like, oh, no, no, no. We'll take the point. Thank you. Oof. Nearly fluffed an uh, inbound there. Come. Coach Davis going to call a timeout here. 48 seconds left to play. Coach Patrick, yeah, not, not happy. happy. Uh, which, I mean, I don't necessarily know why. They're the ones that are up by two. Uh, I mean, obviously it's pressure on both sides, but it's more pressure for the comments to be able to make it than anything. Right. Once again, tonight predicted only a two-point spread at the final buzzer. Mm -hmm. Regardless, uh, John Harrell predicting a comments win, but again, a two-point spread from the opening tip-off is anybody's game. Correct. So, and, and honestly, 
when you look at the score at the half, it was the Comets game to lose. Uh, so uh, I'm um, still just kind of, I guess, a little disappointed in the turnaround, though, from losing such a big lead. Oh, absolutely. But I, you I can tell. I'll talk about this later um, after the game. But there's just a night and day difference between the Vikings during the first half and now during oh, the second absolutely. half. Not just from their hustle, but from the talking too. Um, I've heard a lot more from the court. They are running plays. Yeah. They're working together. 47 seconds. Over to Pew on the left. Rudisil, Rudisil in the paint. Goes down baseline, puts it up, there it's good. Go, now it ties go. it up. 30 seconds left to play. This could go into I was overtime. Say, it could be overtime, Blair, or well, last you, second somewhere. We need a good steal. Obviously, obviously Valley going to try to run it down to where they get the last shot. Absolutely. There's Nolan baseline. Oh. oh, that's good for two. Sad to say, but as soon as I saw Nolan taking yeah, that baseline, I'm it. like, there is two more points on the board just from his intensity and his percentage. Well, the way he's been, uh, I don't remember how many attempts on basket he had first half. I feel like he had missed all of his shots, but he was taking lots of shots. I could tell he was a shooter. He just wasn't getting them to drop. Um, but his total inside the arc for the night, he is nine for 14. And the vast, vast majority of those have been layups here in the second half. Comments are gonna have to come up with a good play to be able to pull this out. Um, because you know the Vikings are not gonna let that ball go inbounds easily. Oh yeah. Yeah, they're going to look to turn over the inbound and just, you know, Run stretch the their clock. lead. Or, or put in a quick two if they can turn it over right underneath. That's very true. Go ahead and make it a two-possession game. That way there's no question. There's no possibility. It's crazy. 12 seconds is simultaneously no time and an eternity. Yeah. Ball into Rudisil. Rudisil going for it. Dishes it down to Smith. Smith goes up. And there it drops. That ties go. it up. Sam Smith tying it up. 5.9 seconds on the clock. Comet's going to put pressure on this and try to drive it into overtime. Wow, what a quick play there for the Comets, though. I didn't know if he was planning on taking it all the way or if they were going to dish it out for a three because that's kind of what I figured Coach was going to be going for. But it was very smart to dish it into Sam because Absolutely. he's drawn most of the fouls for tonight then and has had that a really been, good shooting percentage. That would have been the best outcome I, for the I was the very comments. hoping that he would um, foul and make the shot or, like, get a foul. Here's the thing, Comet's only shooting 33% outside tonight. Um, we are traditionally a very good outside team. We've got Zyder, we've got Rudisil, who has shown himself dangerous outside. We've got Passion. Uh, Pew can shoot from outside. Uh, when he is uh, cleared to play, uh, we've got Klein, who can shoot from outside. Uh, we have outside shooters. The problem is, but they go just hot the and cold. Vikings are also not leaving a lot of space for that to be possible. Absolutely. Well, they figured out they figured out very quickly that Zyder was dangerous outside, and they've closed that down, not giving him that time to post up. Ball into Stump. Stolen by... Ah! Oh, my goodness. Out okay. of bounds off the Stump. Oh 2.1 seconds. I thought Rudisil was going to the hole with that. Oh, no. No, they're calling. There we go. There we go. Um. No, as I say, Valley definitely hit that out of bounds. Rudisil did not lose that ball on his own, at least not from my point of view.
Uh, I don't know who they're going to end up giving the yeah, ball to. I, I, he's still pointing. It's, okay, it's Comets. Comets ball with two seconds on the board. You know how earlier in the game, though, Blair, you're talking about, oh, we've only used, like, one timeout <laughs> yeah. for each side. Well, now we've used almost all of them. <laughs> correct, correct. Uh, Valley sitting with one timeout remaining. We've got Dominic Welk checking in with the scorer's bench. Uh, we haven't seen him a whole lot throughout the game. He's played some, but he's definitely been yeah. in and out throughout yeah, the game. Yeah, he's, he's had two attempts on basket, shot 50% tonight. Just... Hasn't been a uh, a big name on the floor for the Vikings here tonight. It'll be interesting to see what the tactic for each side is going to be. With only two seconds left on the board, um, you don't necessarily know what they're going to do. Well, I know what the Vikings are going to do. They're going to try to uh, time out the inbound and get possession. Oh, I wonder if we're going to dish this over to Rockwolf. Oh, okay. We got Welk over there. No timeouts left. Valley going to well, use that last timeout. Say they saw the setup of the play, and so now they're like, okay, we got to change a few things. Well, you think they're doing that, or you think they're trying to ice the comments? Uh, I think they're trying to do a lot of things right now, Blair. <laughs> they're trying to win. That's what they're yeah. trying to do. Uh, and if worse comes to worse, well, we'll go into overtime. Here's the other thing. The Comets have a tactic available to them that Valley doesn't have. They have possession of the ball. Well, not, not just that. Oh. <laughs> they can draw a foul and force single bonus. That is very true. That is And very even true. if the inbound gets tied up, possession arrow goes to the Comets. I say a good possibility Honestly, could be Smith, could be Zyder on the three-point line. In many could ways. could even be Pat Shen on the three-point line. In many line. ways, the deck is stacked for the Comets right now. Zyder, or not Zyder, uh, Rudisol bouncing it off of the defender. Now cutting their time down to only 1.8 seconds. Ball into Zyder, Zyder for three. Ugh. Oh, too far, we're gonna go into overtime. That would have been a way to go though. At the end of regulation, score tied up 50 all. Wow, this is a very high scoring game too. Uh, we've seen a lot of really clean ball though. Yeah. Um, neither team in the bonus currently. Comets only had three fouls. Yeah, um, and Sam Smith, the only comment with three fouls of his own. Um, so they may play kind of an aggressive four minutes or first couple of those four minutes. Um, and they're definitely going to be trying to draw that seventh foul. Yeah. And if they can get to the line, they really can change the tide of this game. Uh, but once again, uh, Comets have missed three from the free throw line tonight. Uh, all three of those from high percentage shooters, and that that would have changed the face of the game at the final buzzer mm -hmm. of regulation. So uh, it all comes down, though, to the third quarter that the Comets allowed the Vikings to have. Um, yeah, um, I was going to say, this could be a completely different ball game. It's just they went on that major, major run that even got them back into the game to begin yeah. with. Uh, I know during, I don't know if anyone watched the girls game, but we were talking about the lead Knox had, and right. they led the Comets back in. Right. Uh, Comets taking possession to start this uh, fifth period of play. Underneath the Smith, and he draws the foul. Draws that foul. Foul there on East Step. That's his fourth. Four. And he is not happy about that. Well, that was, I mean, he doesn't have to be happy. That was that I mean, was, was not a, a questionable <laughs> it was, call. It was a foul. <laughs> and this puts Comets into single bonus, too. So, first shot, a little hard. 
I'm telling you what, if the comments don't come away with the victory, I think every one of those missed free throws is going to haunt Sam tonight. Yeah, just a little bit. Because he's been the main free throw shooter this entire night. Yeah. Yeah, that was his eighth free throw that he just shot. Over to Shepard. Shepard to the mm, Almost uh, having that steal. Oh, actually wow. getting that steal. Oh, and we're going to have a foul, foul called on, on Stump. That'll four? be his fourth. Yeah. And, you know, maybe the comments could get them all into foul trouble and foul a few out, and, you know. That's, I'll tell you, uh, Stump especially, uh, his step's been on the floor a lot tonight. But, oh, just a little too hard on that shot. Um, but his step's only had two points on the board. He has just been good for presence underneath. Mm -hmm. And absolutely, and he's, a, he's a big guy. Uh, there we go. There we go. But to get Stump and a step out on fouls, that would be a big deal for the Comets. Stump to Walls. Uh, and their scoreboard went out. I think somebody kicked the plug. Exciting. But did you notice how all the players looked around like, okay, no one fouled? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the officials were really quick to see that happen, too. Yeah, I, um, I probably wouldn't have noticed for a while, not going to lie, until a point went up or something. There was a game where that happened, and, and it was several seconds before any of the officials or anybody noticed it. Uh, All right, ball to walls on the right. Up going to Nolan. for that drive. Stump faking that uh, three-pointer. Stump to Nolan. Nolan Shepard. Shepard for three. three. Off the long. mark. And out and off for of. the comments. Out off of uh, a step there. Colby Pugh checking back in for the comments. Ball into Pugh. Woo. Coming up behind him. There we I go. I thought Pugh got away with the travel there. Not going to lie. I was oh. going to say, that's going to get Pugh in trouble. Uh, honestly, yeah. Smith just needs to take it to the basket. Um, that would, he would have had the possibility of giving him his fifth foul. Yeah. And he's been pretty good so far. Foul on number 12, Kobe Pugh, his first. Foul on number 12, Pugh, his first, team fourth. Team fourth. Rockwolf back in for the Comets. Shepard losing his footing. Oh. There we go. Wow. There we go. Stump. Stump unexcited about that. Pew back in. So it looks like we're putting Pew in for offense and Rockwell Rock for, for defense. defense. Smith. Oh, that was a nice cut by Ziders. Ooh, Zider lost his handling. Gets the ball over to Rudisil. Rudis, oh, oh, no. Dish pass to the outside, picked off. Now is not the time to just make quick passes. You know, you have to think about them. And that's, I think, the problem we might get into is everything's just too fast. Two minutes left to play here in overtime. Well, 2.17. Nolan dishes now to Walls. Walls was wide open. Oh my oh, goodness. Wide open three. Walls is three for four here tonight from outside. Should have went up with it. Could have uh, fouled a step out. Over to Rudisil. Valley now with a two point lead. Shot attempt on by uh, Rudisil off the mark. I'm kind of surprised they didn't call him for a charge. 
Uh, I kind of am too. He was very set and he'd been there a while. Stump, looks for the pass, passes it to Walls. Oh, calling a foul there on Pew. That'll be his second, team fifth. I have to say, in spite of the Comets getting themselves into bonus pretty quickly, Valley has played a, a clean couple minutes of ball here. They, they have. Shepard over to Stump. Thought Stump was going up with that. Out Shepard. Shepard will put it is. up. And it's good. Ooh. That may be the nail in the coffin. That might have been. Five point game now. Rock Wolf all the way with it and it drops. There we go. That was Rockwell's first score of the game. I was going to say. Um, yeah, yeah, at this point, I don't know why there wasn't any pressure on that I was going to say, they need to put pressure seconds. on the ball. There's less There's than a, three a point minute game. left. Nolan and up. Going up for it. And no good. Rockwell swats it out. I say, I was surprised that there was no pressure on the ball, especially because he walked it all the way yeah. up. That wasted. That's a that, that's a free right ten there. seconds, yeah. Up the walls. I say that's a that's foul on passion. Yeah, but they he, they need to foul. I was at this gonna point. say at this point they need something. That's his third foul, team six. I mean that's you know, when you've still got two fouls before bonus, thirty yeah. s just under thirty seconds to play. It's a three point game. I mean, comments. Okay, that might have been a bad foul. But that well, was Zyder's first. They needed him to go to the line. Um, you yeah. know, the possibility of a rebound or a miss one, make one, you know, anything to be able to give them possession of the ball. It's so dangerous, though, when it's on the outside of one possession game anyway. Oh, but there we go. I say, Zyder needs to get up the floor. Over to Rock Wolf. 22 seconds to play. Zyder to Smith, Smith to Rock Wolf, 16 seconds. Zyder thought he was going up I with say it. They are looking for an outside shot. And timeout Comets using the last timeout, 11 seconds. And one way or another, they've got to get a three point play. I think, Blair, though, the biggest downfall so far for the Comets was the fact that we did not make our free throws. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. If we had made all four of the free throws that um, we were given, even at the beginning of overtime, we would yeah. be probably tied right now. Yep. Um, Comets with six missed free throws across the night. That's, uh, once again, it, it teams live and die on those fundamentals. Mm -hmm. Um We've seen fewer silly turnovers tonight than, than we have in, uh, I'm going to say more in years past, uh, but there's been a couple of those. Uh, there was that one, like, lazy lob pass, uh, but there was only one, and so that's yes. why that sticks yeah. out to me tonight. Uh, but those are those kind of fundamentals. I say overall, <laughs> um, the Comets have definitely played a lot better game, especially just from what I've seen recently. They've really stepped up. They've come out here with heart and played so far the entire game. Yeah. Um, I mean, they kind of fell a little bit when Vikings took that run, but overall they've been taking decent shots, making decent passes. There's just a few areas where it could have been better. And there's just been a few, a few of those shots where it was uh, just didn't fall their way. Seven seconds. Zyder for three. Oh. oh. And, and that's off. So we're going to send Walls to the line for one and one. Foul called on 22. Rock Wolf, his second.
Walls for one and one. Off the mark. Oh, uh, just a little bit higher. And at the end of five, your final score, Valley 56, Comets 53. What a heartbreaker. Well, I'm going to stat this uh, second half here while we run, uh, run some promotional consideration, and then we will have Coach Davis come up and talk to us after he meets with the guys in the locker room. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in. You are watching Casting Comets Basketball here on RTC TV4. Stay tuned for the post-game wrap-up. Check one, two. Okay, I see levels. I hope that we're going live out to the audience. Uh, apologize, folks. We, uh, <laughs> we, we forgot a couple of things here. Uh, so I was going over some post-game stats. Uh, Comet 6 for 20 from outside the arc, 14 22 inside, and 7 for 13 from the free throw line. Uh, the Vikings went 8 for 15 for final outside, 16 for 29 uh, inside the arc, and went 2 for 4 from the free throw line. I do have Coach Davis here on the other headset, and Coach, what a heartbreaker! And I'm sure. Uh, I mean, it all came down to that third quarter, so let's start there because that's the quarter we didn't want to see at all. Yeah, I mean, they came out. Obviously, they, they started showing a lot of pressure in the second quarter, and, uh, you know, we had built up a lead, and, you know, I thought we executed really well early, and we hit shots, and they didn't. You know, so that, that lead kind of grows because of how cold they were to start the game, but obviously, mm -hmm. you know, the stats you just gave, you can tell that they heated up after that. Um, you know, it seemed like in the second half they only missed one or two shots. I mean, they yeah. were just they were really solid from the perimeter. You know, shooting over 50% from the game for the game, and it was just one big three after another for them. And uh, you know, you have to give them credit for that. And but you know, we we had the opportunity in the first half a couple times I think to push the lead out even more. Mm -hmm. uh, but we had some careless turnovers and we had some careless fouls. And uh, you know, we just talked about the fact that you know if you want to you want to win high school basketball games, you got to be consistent for 32 minutes and. Uh, you know, you can't can't get caught up in, in playing the scoreboard and making a mistake and thinking, oh, well, you know, it's you know, yes, we still have a 15 point lead. Right. Uh, you know, we can't have that mentality. We got to treat every possession like it's the last possession of the game. And um, you know, they they came out in the second half and put pressure on us and, we, and turned us over and uh, took care of that lead pretty quick. Yeah, uh, absolutely. And that was something Aubrey and I had talked about, and we talked about it actually Thursday at the girls' game against Knox because Knox had an incredible lead at one point, and we're caught flat-footed as the Lady Comets close that gap. Um, a 16-point lead, a 17-point lead in basketball, really, it, it seems huge. It seems un insurmountable, but we saw here tonight how in just uh, legitimately in two minutes they closed a lot of that off. Um, and, of course, allowing uh, number 12, uh, Nolan, uh, he only missed, I believe, one shot in the whole second half. And uh, him, he just dominated that lane, unfortunately. Um, Coach, what good things did you see tonight that uh, you want to highlight for us? Well, I thought we rotated pretty well defensively for the most part. Um, there were, it was, it's just that urgency on the catch. You know, mm -hmm. I think that was the biggest thing tonight. And, you know, teams are going to score. And you, gotta, you can't take everything away. You're going to have to pick your spots. And, um, you know, I thought we took some things away that we wanted to take away tonight. You know, but, again, I think the urgency on the catch just wasn't there. Uh, in the second half and recognition of shooters in the second half. Mm -hmm. Obviously, we, that's something we have to improve on. You know, offensively, you know, I thought we, we got really aggressive in the fourth quarter. Mm -hmm. uh, that's something that we need to be consistent for, consistently doing for, for 32 minutes. And um, when we played on our heels, we turned the ball over. And uh, it's pretty simple. You're aggressive, good things happen, and you get on your heels and bad things happen. So it's easy to say that, but obviously a lot more difficult to put into practice. But that's something that uh, we'll have to continue to work on here. Absolutely. Well, Coach, the guys are looking fantastic, and they're great to watch. We appreciate the effort that you're putting in with the guys and uh, appreciate the consistency. When you talk about rotating, I realize you're talking on the floor, but even watching this bench depth come in, um, you're really bringing these guys along, and they're super interchangeable, and they're great to watch. So thank you so much. Thanks thank for coming you. up and talking to us, and we look forward to watching you guys next time. Appreciate it. Thank you. Have a good Christmas. You too. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to wrap up tonight's broadcast. Uh, 
want to give a special thank you to uh, Adam Rush, who stepped in and covered camera for us tonight after some miscommunication. I uh, want to say thanks again to Aubrey for coming up and helping me contact, uh, commentate this fantastic game. Uh, until next time, this has been Cast and Basketball on Comets TV on RTC TV4.